Yo, what's good? It's your boy Mike, though. Flamingo. Back with another video, man. So, last video, I showed you on my build at an 80 overall, going crazy on the 1v1 court. But today, I'm finally upgrading my build to an 81 overall. So, you know, I'm finna be going crazy. So, first game of the 81 overall, Demigod. What the hell? Oh my god, no way. Listen. I can explain why my three point percentage is at a 12%. Somebody broke into my house last night and they realized that I'm broke and that there's nothing to steal. So he said, I'm gonna ruin your three point percentage on 2K for being a broke bitch. I know I shoot a 12%, but sitting that deep into the paint is just disrespectful. So since he wanna get disrespectful, I'm gonna pull up with the fade. And he still didn't trust my shot, so I had to let him know again that I'm not messing so now he wants to play some defense but it's too late i already got my take and i'm greening in his face once again i pull up for the fade because he really tried to disrespect me just because i have a 12 percent three point percentage so from now on anybody that sits in the paint on me just because i have a 12 percent three point percentage is getting this type of treatment i shouldn't have to be treated like this just because of my shooting percentage my 12 percent matters comment down below and say my percentage matters bro what am i talking about okay moral of the story is my build is a demigod and he can't guard me next game on the 81 overall demigod once again i'm getting treated poorly based on my three point percentage my percentage matters but i'm not gonna lie i haven't missed a mid-range shot in a while and these mid-range fades are actually overpowered and i'm not trying to gas them up I actually think mid-ranges are OP. And once they start respecting my mid-range, I'm just gonna go up for the lay. Next play, I hit this guy with the cleanest snatch, but I didn't shoot out of it. But I was still able to get past him for the easy lay. And then I started messing up my dribble moves, but for some reason, I went up for this stupid lay. But layups are overpowered, and I can basically go up with anything since I have a 91 driving layup and mostly Hall of Fame badges. And I can make anything besides a wide open layup. Like, come on 2K, I'm missing wide open layups now and this guy gave up. He already lost. Like, look at him, bro. He gave up entirely. This man just, I don't wanna do this no more. But a mid range fade is basically a layup to me at this point. But for some reason, this kid is sagging off again so I had to teach him a lesson. So now he starts respecting my shot but it doesn't matter because he's just gonna get cooked. And you know for the last play of the game, I had to hit him with a fade once again. But you see, I have a 91 driving layup. The layups this year are super OP. When you're creating your build, layups are cheap. A 90 driving dunk is way more expensive than a 90 driving layup. So that's what I went with. And you can get some contested lays. And plus, combined with this strength, I get gold fearless. And I get gold slithery, Hall of Fame acrobat. Oh, a whole bunch of Hall of Fame badges. Oh my God. Having a high mid range is so good this year. You can get gold badges that will help you out with your three pointer. It is literally a cheat code. And then the mid range fades are so easy to green. A mid range fade to me is basically a layup. I swear. Like mid range fade that's wide open. It's so easy to green. And plus, I got a plus one. So this 86 is really an 87. Now the ball handle. We get all of the good dribble moves with the 85 ball handle. And then we get all the good dribble styles with a 75. The only one that we don't get is Kyrie. And the only dribble move that we missing out of is some of Trey Young's dribble moves and the Steve Francis. And you don't even need them. There's other good dribble moves. Plus, we get the most overpowered behind the back, which is Jamal Murray. Now, going on to the perimeter defense, we get that silver clamps. We have good enough perimeter defense to guard most guards. So we have the perimeter on lock, and now we have the interior on lock too, with the 77 interior and a 92 block to get that gold anchor. So we can stop mostly everybody on defense. All right. And then we have 60 defensive rebound. For that bronze rebound chaser and recently they came out and said acceleration at a 71 and acceleration at a 90 is the same i feel like i don't know bro i feel like that might be true because my build right now is moving the same as my 66 guard with like an 80 something acceleration like 80 87 so a 10 attribute difference and i'm still moving the same is crazy and my speed with ball is at an 83 on that build and this is a 75 and i'm still moving the same so i don't know you could when you're making your 6a you could probably lower it to like a 71 73 i don't know i went with 77 because i didn't know 
I really didn't know you could lower it and still move the same. Yeah, here goes my build. Once this build is at a 99, bro. Oh my God, it's going to be devious, bro. But we're going to thug it out with this 84. And we're going to see. And you guys know I couldn't leave y'all hanging. Here goes my jump shot. Ben Shepard is basically LaMelo Ball from last year. I learned this from Yadman Gaming. Yadman. But look at that release speed. A plus. And then you could get this at an 83 three-pointer. I have a 78. That's why. That's also why I upgraded my mid-range to unlock certain jump shots. I know all you need is a 78. But can you unlock most of the jump shots? Probably not. So mid range comes in a clutch now for my layup style I went with damar uh kobe bryant is probably the best one i like damar i use both i use every layup i just like doing layups i like changing up my layups and whatnot and for my fade the dribble pull up is the kobe fade it is literally the best in the game i know a lot of people use normal too but me personally i'm just gonna stick with the kobe fade and also for motion style I went with dennis Rodman. Uh, I think 2K Toots or 2K Labs, they did a test and they seen that motion style Dennis Rodman helps you run faster. I also like Kawhi Leonard because look at how like extended his arms is. That might help you out on perimeter defense. I don't know, but I like running fast, but I might change it to Kawhi. I don't know. I don't feel like it's not too much of a difference. And here goes all of my dribble moves. Like I said before, Jamal Murray behind the back is the best behind the back because it's so explosive. And this John Wall step back is so clean too. It's just like the Steph Curry step back. So yeah, we basically get all the best sigs, but we don't get Kyrie dribble style and we don't get, I guess, Trey Young escape moves, but I'm using Chris Paul and I'm liking it. They're not really missing out on most of the other dribble moves like the Steve Francis. De'Aaron Fox is good enough for me. I don't know, it's just my opinion. Uh, I'm using LeBron James dribble style. I know a lot of people use Magic Johnson and Zach Levine. I feel like LeBron is these two combined because I know a lot of people use Magic Johnson for the uh, the offhand speed boost and Zach Levine for the normal speed boost. You can do the offhand speed boost with LeBron and do the normal speed boost like Zach Levine. So it is both of these combined, but most people don't know that. LeBron James dribble style. It's all personal preference. I know the uh, Magic Johnson offhand speed boost is a lot faster than LeBron, but I like how versatile it is. I could do both. But that's going to be it for the video. Make sure you hit that like button, that sub button if you're new. Now I'm out, bro. But I know I can't gain. Maybe all these feelings I just can't explain. Looking through these mirrors while I see the pain. Wanted to get better, but things will never change. Rule number one don't let a hater bring you down. Niggas want you to be depressed and broke with them. Don't let niggas motivate you to be broke. Fuck that.